Everybody talks about the importance of being authentic and vulnerable in your marketing these days. And I agree. Today's consumers love to hear from real, quirky, vulnerable, flawed human beings just like they are. The question becomes, where do you draw the line between being a real, you know, interesting human being and just being a big old downer? That's what we'll talk about today on Nerdy Girl TV. Let's be clear about one thing. I'm all for honesty. I'm all for sharing the ups and downs of life, telling the truth. All that stuff is all well and good. But I also think from a marketing standpoint, you do have to be a bit strategic about how you talk about the downer things of life if you're going to talk about them. Because one of the most important elements of marketing is positioning, which is the way people perceive you. And so we have to be really purposeful with our authenticity, although that seems a little, you know, contradictory, but stay with me. If you are building a public persona as a means of selling things, you have to understand that you are always a representative, even if you're talking about your personal life, you're still always a representative of whatever it is that you're selling. And so if you're not purposeful about that language that you use, then it all of those things do matter when it comes to how people perceive you. Do they know you like you trust you? Do they view you as an expert? Do they look up to you? Do they think you're someone who, you know, makes their life better or makes them feel like <laughs> And it's something that I put a lot of thought into because I'm not exactly sure how to teach what I kind of naturally just have come to be sensitive to, but I'm gonna try today, so wish me luck. This all actually came to light because the other day I posted a thing and I was reading it and I was like, that's actually a pretty good example of this exact principle. So what I wanted to do is show you the post and then just kind of break down why I think it works and you can let me know if you agree. So here's the post, it's pretty simple. It just basically said, yesterday I felt like crap, today I feel much better. Just goes to show that your breakthrough or whatever is much closer than you think. Simple enough, straightforward enough, but it carries with it some really important principles that I wanted to impress upon you. Three things going on in this post that I wanted to draw your attention to. First, I'm a big believer in sharing the downers after the fact. Sharing while you're in it, while you're still kind of mired in the muck of the meh, can make things, it, it can still be done, but it can make things a lot harder. It's harder to present yourself in the best light when you're feeling like crap. So I tend to, when I'm having a downer day or a downer situation, I try to refrain from talking about it until I've been able to get some distance from the situation and get some clarity about it. Granted, I'm not saying don't talk to someone, just maybe don't broadcast to the general public. You know what I'm saying? Next thing, I shared how things got better. I find that if you talk about how you overcame something and how it all turned out all right in the end, then it becomes a hopeful post rather than a everything sucks post. And if you have a hopeful post, authentic and vulnerable becomes trustworthy and still approachable and real and inspiring, as opposed to just like, this person hates life, why should I follow them? <laughs> and finally, leave a what's in it for them. Because again, people wanna see who you are, they wanna know your real life, they want you to, you know, be honest with them. But at the end of the day, everybody just cares about themselves. So if you're just talking about you and there's no what's in it for me, you're probably not gonna keep people engaged over the long haul if they feel like you're not really even thinking about them when you're posting. Otherwise, it just becomes this kind of passive aggressive journal entry thing and they think, why are you even sharing this if it's not meant to be shared? Here's one workaround if you're still in the muck of things but you do want to share. Another thing you could try is just to give the hope or the perspective that you want to feel to somebody else. And in fact, that's actually a great way of coping with negative situations, is to give the thing that you want to receive. Again, this is always about making it about the other person, not about you. Sure, you're telling a story about yourself, but at the end of the day, you're telling it as a way of illustrating a point to them that's going to make their life better. Because at the end of the day, if somebody's following you on social media, it's because they're hoping that in some small way, your content is going to make their life better. So think about that. As a content creator, that's really your job. In any case, whatever it is that you're needing to be vulnerable about or share the dark side of, I hope it's not too dark. I hope things are going well in your neck of the woods. If you need a little help in the mindset area, you know where to find me. But no matter what happens next, I wish you all the success in the world. You stay nerdy and get back to work because somebody out there is looking for you. So let's make sure they find you. There's a lot of stuff I don't know. 
But there's one thing I know for sure. Somebody out there, probably a lot of somebodies, they're looking for somebody just like you right now because they need exactly the type of thing that you have to offer. The question is, how do we make sure they find you? Well, that really depends on you. Let's figure it out together, shall we? Hop on over to the strategy generator at MakeSureTheyFindYou.com, answer three quick questions, and I'll tell you exactly where to start and exactly what's gonna need to happen for you to get your perfect offer in front of the perfect people as soon as today. See you on the other side. But before you go check that out, I want you to know that all my content is inspired by you guys. So make sure to leave me a comment because I really do wanna know. If I could make a video that would solve your biggest problem with marketing or with mindset right now, what would that video be about? My team will put your suggestion on my list and we'll make sure to let you know if your idea gets featured. Until then, stay nerdy and I'll talk to you soon.